looking great tonight, Nick. You should have been in the tournament. Thank you, Steve. You could have taken that away from us. <laughs> oh, listen. If I want a tin cup, I'll buy it. Cash is where it's at. Any of you gentlemen want to take any part of this five thousand? No, no way. Come on, Nobby. Richie? After what you just did to Mizrak, I don't believe I'll fool with it. <laughs> Pete, come on, my partner over here for five. Come on, six. Yeah, yeah, eight, you guys are too tough tonight. You guys stuck all pains. Oh, wait. What's your fun players here, kid? <laughs> Time to party. Yes, I believe we are. Due for a little vacation, huh? Yeah. Maybe the West Coast. Yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> competition. This is it, sugar. The office. What kind of business are you in? <laughs> Beer okay? Yeah. Can we have a couple of beers out, please? Okay, Nick. Where's Billy Joe? Uh, he said he'd be back about five. Hmm. Who's Billy Joe? That's my partner. Oh. Yeah, say hello to sugar. Hi, sweetie. Oh, clever, <laughs> very clever. Cheers. Are you sure you're not a movie star? For the third time. <clears throat> well, are you going to teach me how to play? Oh, yes. Now, first, you chalk the stick. Take it in your hand. What do I do now? Go down on the stick. What? I mean, you uh, bend over your stick. And get that little white ball at that blue one. Oh, now you have to spread your legs upon it. Just oh. Yes, that's about it. Ooh. it I feel a little strange in this position. Oh. Well, how does this feel? Hmm? Now, now to stroke it. Nice and easy. Stop that. <laughs> Why don't we get a bottle and go to my place, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't fool around with older men. Older men says when it's 39 old. Come on. Well, you look older. Oh, besides, I don't even know you. You're putting me on. Nope. You don't know who Nick Casey is? Nope. I'm a celebrity, baby. Is that a fact? Al, the magazine. You're down to your last two copies, Nick. Sports Illustrated. Ooh. Page 48. Ooh, the centerfold. Game. Not a very nice way to treat a new member. Looks like you owe me fifty dollars. Say, Bert, I'll just bet you're not as good on this pool table as you are on that court. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> Let me have a beer. All right, how about a little eight ball? Well, I'm warning you, Hank. Pool's my game. Oh. Well then. 
Rack them up. To sugar from Nick Casey, the world's greatest pool player. Oh, oh but it says here nobody knows who's best, you or your partner. Oh. Take it from an objective observer, I am. Oh. Oh, but it says here you've never played each other. How come? Partners never play each other. They can never play the kid. He's gotten too good. Listen, Sugar. How would you like to see my best shot? Oh, I'd love to. Come on. Okay. What am I going to tell uh, Billy Joe? Not to bother. Well, if he's your partner, how come you don't want him to bother? Sugar. You know, I've never seen such luck. But I guess that means I owe you $500, hmm? Uh, minus the 50, I want it racquetball. Same time tomorrow? A sure thing, Bert. Bucks was knocked down twice in the 10th round. And both times got up at the count of nine. I'd like to make a reservation Nobody for the racquetball court for tomorrow. Before. Same time. Okay, I'll see what I can do for also you. Also in the sports news today, you call poker pool and gambling sports is Joe Denton, the deacon himself. Paroled from the federal penitentiary after serving two years of a five-year sentence for tax evasion, the famous high roller, known as a gambler's gambler, has never allowed himself to be photographed. At Wimbledon this afternoon, there was a very close Phone's all in order. between two newcomers, a young man from Atlanta. And Nick, the deacon's out. Hey, lover boy, I hate to interrupt you, but uh, I got some great news for you. Hey, man, I'm entertaining the lady. Now, come on, get out of here. Great news coming. Out, out. Oh, it's important. Out, 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 out. out. The deacon's out. The deacon's out? It was on the TV, paroled this morning. <laughs> wow, man, what did they say? Uh, where's he at? Oh, I don't know. They, all they said was he was being paroled. Good behavior, I guess. Good behavior, my ass. Cash, man. But he got cash, he got juice. The dick has got plenty of that. Where the hell could he be? New Orleans, land of dreams. That's where he's at. What makes you think so? Just figures. He owns that town, doesn't he? Start packing. Vacation's over. Nick. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, uh, Nick, what's the rush? Listen, I've been waiting for that cat for two years now. And I'm ready. What's your bankroll, kid? About four. Four thousand, not bad. Four hundred. Four hundred? What the hell happened to you? Poker game? When are you going to learn? Poker's not your game. Well, how much you hold? Three thousand. Pay the bill here, leave us with a thousand. What a time to be busted. Busted? Well, we still got, what, uh, fourteen, fifteen hundred bucks. We need twenty thousand dollars. Well, look. Deacon just got out of the can, right? Maybe he'll play for less. <laughs> Not the Deacon. $20,000 a game. That's his bottom. Oh, I'd sure like to meet the Deacon. I've always been sort of religious. Have you? Well, you are a religious experience, sugar. <sighs> we'll just have to get hot on the road, that's all. Uh, we can do it. Some big, big action down south. Oh, I've never been south. No? Oh, well. Hollywood's your town, sugar. You just hang in there and we'll see you up there on that silver screen yet. Do you like that? Yes, I'd love that. Well, the port will come by and pick up our stuff. And uh, check out times, 3 o'clock. Okay. Bye-bye. Maybe I should play him this time. Who made you number one? Well, he beat you last time, didn't he? He didn't beat me. How many times I gotta tell you, I beat myself? Where's my car? <laughs> ah. Uh, I wished I'd been there. Just how good is he? He's a damn good pool player, man. But he's an artist that's psyching you out. He had me missing shots that sugar could have made. <laughs> well, if he did it once, who says he can't do it again? I do. I do. Thank you. How much do you think we can take him down for? The night I played him, he was carrying a briefcase with $160,000 cash. This time, that briefcase coming home to us. One hundred and sixty grand. Hell, 
After we take the deacon down, you'll be able to buy your own pool room. And work for a living, huh? Oh, no. Not Nick Casey, man. 160 grand. You know what I think we should do the first thing? Hop on a plane, fly to the south of France. Saint-Tropez, French Riviera. See, that's where Bridget Bardot lives. <laughs> Who's she? <laughs> I hear those French broads run around those beaches stark naked. Acres of them. Acres and acres and acres of them. again, Clovis. Sorry. Leave the car in front, folks. Certainly will. Say, uh, listen to that joint that just walked in there. Oh, you mean the deacon? Yeah. Yes, sir. Listen, excuse me. I'd like to take a shot at the deacon. A what? Picture. Oh, oh, oh. You can really help me out. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what I want you to do. My car is right over there. Okay? When he comes out, just take your hat off and brush your hair a little bit. My oh, man. Gotcha. It's, uh, 2,000. Whoa. Two thousand and three thousand more. Five thousand. I call. It did say five thousand, sir. Right. Mario. Huh? Yeah. I see that. Yeah. And raise you five. And yeah. hold on just a moment. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Mario. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yes? Hey, Deacon. Nick Casey. Nick Casey. Good to have you back, man. Thank you, Mr. Casey. How did you find me? It's an educated hunch. Say, how about a game? I'm in a game, Mr. Casey, and you're interrupting it. I'm talking about pool. Me and you, huh? I beat you once. Why should I play you again? Money? <laughs> I don't need your money. Listen, Joe, I think you're missing the point. It's your money I'm talking about, not mine. <laughs> you seem to have recovered your nerve, Mr. Casey. I have indeed. You haven't lost yours, have you, Deacon? I mean, your game hasn't gotten too rusty sitting up there in the slammer, has it? Well, if you'd like to find out, get yourself over to Paulie's tournament next weekend. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me that you've turned into a fun player, Deacon. I've agreed to play the winner of that tournament for $20,000. Does that sound like fun to you, Mr. Casey? By the way, you do have the money. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Well, then you're halfway there. Nice talking to you. Well? Yeah, he said he'd play me. Good. Yeah, all I have to do is win Paulie's goddamn tournament. Paulie's? Plus coming up with a 20? Oh, yeah. Doesn't sound to me like he wants any part of you at all. I mean, he knows what the odds are against winning a tournament, the champs knocking each other off. And that's assuming that Paulie'd let you into the place. Oh, no, that's not a problem. Don't worry about that. Our big problem is coming up with 20 grand by this weekend. Nick, I got it. I got it. What? 
lock your car. Oh, are you kidding? Come on, it would get us a ten of it at no, least. No, no, forget it. Nick, you want money, don't you? Listen, forget but... it. Forget about the car. Come All on. we need is one hot town between here and Johnston City, and we're cool. <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, I better drive. You look tired. I'm all right. Get in. Nick, you're not getting any younger, you know? No shit. Get in the car. All right. You're getting any younger? Deacon will have his day. Harold with an eye. Satchel. Fair eight. Ten, no help. King. Got a cold hand tonight. That's too rich for me. Half four, Senator. Mm. One card, Mario. Two cards, please. Mario, how much is there in the pot? Fifty thousand. That's the bet. Fifty thousand. Well, as you say, I don't have it. Your mark is good enough for me, Senator. Deacon, I think you're bluffing. Mario. I call you. I've got a full house here, Senator. My ace is up. Gentlemen. You're on a good game, Mario. It's always good. For the winner. Uh, Deacon. <laughs> I uh, trust you'll be patient on that I owe you. Why, Senator, whenever it's convenient. Oh, uh, Rico. Oh, uh, Maurice. Good night, gentlemen. Or rather, good morning. Is this good morning. Good morning. Mrs. Most in prison, Rico, are fine restaurants and beautiful women. I happen to know one of each in Atlanta, Georgia. All the way to Atlanta for a broad and a meal? Precisely. Sooner or later.
again soon, Clovis. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Your car is parked right over there, sir. Hey, buddy, you're illegally parked. Let's move it. I said move it. Jansko, J-A-N-S-C-O, Pauly Jansko. Yeah, he owns the place. Now, person to person, please. Nick who? Casey, Mr. Jansko ain't in... No, 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 wait a minute. Give me that phone. Wait a minute. Nick, how the hell are you? Well, you sounded better spirits than the last time I saw you. I'm going to talk to you about that. Uh, listen, Nick. You know, you're a class guy. You're a great player. I want you in my tournament. You do? Yeah. Oh, come on, Nick. Forget about the past. I want you in my tournament. Jesus, Polly, I don't know. Uh... Nick, only for you. I'll stand you to the entrance fee. You will? Yeah. What do you say? It's the deal? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Polly. All right, uh, uh, Nick, the kid, too. Oh, this is Polly I'm talking to, isn't it? <laughs> of course it's Polly. <laughs> Who do you think it is, huh? It's, we, we, we got a deal, huh? Okay, Polly. See you in a few days. <laughs> Don't you throw him out? Yeah, yeah, I did. But a hotshot TV producer read about him in some goddamn magazine. Says he wants him in the tournament. He thinks they're uh, colorful. Colorful. What do you think of that? Hmm? What are you standing around here for? You got work to do? Yeah. Well, get the hell out of here. But well, Cosmo, get back here. Yeah, well, listen, listen to me. Not a word about the TV contract to Nick. Do you understand that? Or he'll stick it to me. Hey, Nick. One of those guys told me about a high stake poker game later tonight. Poker? Come on, now. When are you going to work? All right, all, all right, right, all right. Did you get a hold of Polly? Sure, I got a hold of him. Yeah. We're in the tournament. The both of us? He's even putting up our infantry. Would you boys like some more coffee? Oh, yeah. oh yes. You don't Thank believe you. it. How'd you pull it off? Charm. That old Nick Casey, Charm. Thank you. Now that is a work of art. Psst. Work of art my ass. It's silicone. You know I'm a tit man. So? I don't make them real tits. Because I've been a tit man all my life. And when Nick Casey says they're tits, you've got aces wired. They are real tits. They are not real tits. They're silicone. Would you tell Fred Astaire how to dance? No. Well, then don't tell me anything about tits, man. I got 20 bucks says they're silicone. You got a bet, sucker. Pick up that BLT special. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, your muffler's completely shot. Shot? It's a new car, man. What? Uh, how much going to take to fix it? Uh, hour and a half or two. An hour and a half, huh? Yeah. Okay, uh... Ernie, this is your name, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Ernie. Listen, go ahead and fix the car. Uh, I'd like to talk to you a minute. Would it be possible... She's gonna knock hell out of both. Hell with that either. Come on, let's wrap I'm up. sorry. Sorry, no more credit. You mean to tell me that you aren't gonna give your own uncle credit? Uncle Harb, I can't. Damn. Come on, come on, Uncle Harb. Uncle Harb, now wait up. I gotta pay the. T hey, let him go, oh, Georgie. Uncle Harb's not in your class, man. Here. <laughs> Look. I'm just looking for punishment. Crack him up. I only play my Uncle Harb for money. I better be going. Hey, what's your hurry? Listen, um, I want to make it really easy for you, Georgie. See, I'll spot you 25 balls. You mean I, I got to make 25 to win and, and you got to make 50? How's that sound, huh? Hmm. I have to give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All finished, Mr. Casey. That'll do it. It's great, Ernie. How much do I owe you? Mr. Ernie! It's Mr. Ernie! Mr. Ernie! Mr. Ernie! You got a new kid working for you? Well, uh, uh not exactly. Well, well, Tony thought he had himself a pork chop, except the pork chop turned out to be a professional pool hustler. And now he's going to skin his ass for it. Uh, listen, do you have a uh, telephone I can use? Uh, yeah, there's one in the office. Oh, Mr. Ernie, you should have saw it. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing like that before. I mean, there were balls dropping here and here. There were balls dropping every time you play your eye. I ain't never seen a ball that big. That's all. What's going on, Fred? Someone turned in a false alarm. 
All right, who's the wise guy? I did it. It's a weakness of mine. You better come with me. Yes, sir. Wake up. It's time to go to sleep. Go get us a room out. <coughs> get all the stuff out of the back. Oh, I'm not tired. You go ahead. I need to get laid. Well, give me the stash. Why don't you give me 50 of that, huh? Fifty dollars? You don't need fifty dollars to get laid in this one horse town. Come on. Drinking money. Try to be quiet when you come in, will you? Right. I played poker all night. What? Now, it won't happen again, Nick, I promise you. Jesus, well, thank God for us, you only had $50 to lose. Where'd you park the car? Uh... It's right here, Nick. <laughs> no. Oh, Jesus. Tell me it's not true, please. Tell me it's, you didn't do it. Now, just take it easy, Nick, huh? You didn't. You blew our car on... No. A poker you, game. Yeah, you son of a... Yeah, I know I did, Nick. I know, I know I did. But look, Nick. Good. Nick, I'll buy you a brand new car out of my end after we take the deacon down. Take the deacon out? There's got to be a deacon, don't you know that, you dumbass? I mean, the car was half our stake. Look at this. This piece of shit. No. Nick, come on. Nick, we still got... We still got four days to raise the money. Four days? Who did he couldn't raise the money in four days? How can you be so stupid? Huh? Now, what's the use? What's the use? That's it. That's it. Where are you going? Away from you! As far as I can get. Nick, I think you ought to at least give me a chance to explain, huh? What? All right, I made a mistake. No, I made a mistake. Teaming up with you. You've been doing this to me for 15 years. No more. Nick, I swear to God, just give me another chance. I promise you, I won't screw it up again. Oh, Jesus Christ, Nick, I was holding a full house. Will you just listen to me? What would you... What would you have done? God! Full, huh? 
Yeah. Full house. Now listen, kid. This is the last time, right? The very last time. If you want money from me, anything, coffee, cigarettes, women, whatever you come to me for, right? Yes, huh? sir. And no more poker. No more poker. Got it? Yes, Nick. Now swear it. If I'm lying, I'm dying. That's the truth. Right over with a little push. Child 70, our very best, sir. Thank you. Well, what did you find out, Rico? His name's Max Lachine, and it wasn't a cop he was looking to kill back in New Orleans. It's you he's after. Max Lachine. Name from the past. I don't remember him. The distant past. I won a great deal of money from him. A great deal? All he had. And some he didn't. An unpredictable fellow became much too dangerous. So I arranged for him to become a guest of the state. For five years, to be precise. He did not enjoy his stay, apparently. I'd better give Smitty a call. Yeah. No violence. Let him show up at Paulie's. I don't understand. The guy's a stone killer. Try your wine, Rico. It's delicious.
take a gander at what is sinking. Well, what a wish you parked your horse. Well, we got a chance at the Deacon. Well, we did about 20 grand to bring him oh. down, so we're here hustling up a little bread, see? Uh, any action like that around? Oh, and all the big money players already left for Paul is. Hey, Skinny. Yeah. Who is that good-looking poop with over there? Oh, now, that's my good buddy Carolina Red. But there's the best damn woman pool player in the country. It's a view, huh? Oh, yeah. That's my kind of woman. I'll bet you. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Yeah. Well, Nick, you're looking awful good. Hi there. Hi. By the way, my name is Billy. How do you do? You know, I am very impressed. I mean, not only do you sing a terrific song, but you shoot a damn fine stick. Thank you very much. How are you dancing? Rotten. Phew, ice cubes. What is your approach, kid? It's all wrong, man. It doesn't have any style. Oh, I suppose you could do better. Would that change? Yeah. On the dance floor like that. <laughs> Be my guest. No, no. I don't take those cowgirls. Hey, Nick, uh, you got a hundred bucks on you? Find a mark. I bet you a hundred bucks you can't get her to dance with you. Get up that sucker. <laughs> Miss Carolina Red, Nick Casey. Oh, I'm very impressed. Not only do you sing wonderfully, you a fine game of pool. I was wondering, how are you at dancing? There's one way to find out. Excuse me, cowboy. Hey, honey, don't you have anything that swings up there like Count Basie, a little Woody Herman, something like that? Oh, uh, we don't play that kind of music here, honey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't dance to it either. Well, listen, uh, why don't we go have a little bit of Thank you. I'll go to the bar and get a look at it. Why, why? I like some of that tequila gold and a nice cold glass of white wine tipped over the table with red sip, okay? Be right over. I just don't get it. Come on. Handsome women find me sexy. Hi. You know, you really look familiar to me. Are you a movie star? <laughs> no, yes, I can. Yeah, I would be pretty enough. You could be, you know. Oh, thank you. But I know you say that to all the girls. Nah. <laughs> Never. Never? Never. Not even the Laura Lee? Laura Lee. Laura Lee, you know, the tall blonde with the long bow legs from Raleigh, North Carolina. It's not you know about <laughs> Laura Lee. Because he brought her into my daddy's pool room every day when I was a kid. Raleigh, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Red Callahan. You're Red Callahan's mm -hmm. little girl? Yeah, not so little anymore. 
happy time with him. Just a kid, he could have been more than what? Twelve, exactly. And I had the biggest crush in the world on him. Oh, be damn. <laughs> Snow White? Well, Matthew did it again. Oh. Yes. I am Snow White. What can we do for you, little brother? My name's Billy Joe. Skinny sent me. How sweet. What's the buy-in? Two thousand. Well, oh, that sounds good to me. <laughs> No white holds the bank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, partner, looks like you're the man I gotta beat. You know, I seen that face someplace before. Yeah, same place it is now. How sweet. Cute. Real cute. Max, are you in or out? Annie up. Here's one that I've been trying to teach Billy Joe. He hasn't quite got it yet. You do. <laughs> How did you and Billy Joe ever hook up together? In the pool room. He was racking balls and cleaning spittoons. He was 15 years old, didn't have a family. I took a liking to him. He was a spirited kid, you know. And uh, talented. I put a pool stick in his hand and was like he came with the table. So we've been hanging out ever since, traveling around. Stuck at the hip like brothers, you know. You guys have been together a long time then. Oh, yeah, we have. Wonder where he's at. We gotta get to Johnson City by tomorrow night. Mm. You ever been there? No, Polly's place? Yeah. Mm -mm. Hey, Skinny. Yo. Where's Billy Joe, have you seen him? Yeah, he went all over to uh, Snow Heights. Snow White? Snow White. Snow White is a poker place on the outside of town. Pretty big stakes. Poker? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I fold. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I want to thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Uh... Gentlemen, I think we have roughly uh, $12,000 here, which I do believe you are holding for me, ma'am. So I think I'm just going to cash it all in. Rule here is only losers quit. <laughs> I quit when I want to quit. You don't want to break any rules now, do you, kid? Hey, I don't want to break any rules, no. It's cool, it's cool. All right, all right. Sit down, sit down. Get him out of here. Oh. It's gone. He took the whole stage. Get him over here. Get moving. Wait. Better keep that engine running. Hey, hey, don't lift the jack, will you? Come on, come on, hey, hey, hey. I don't give up, man. It's my money. I it. Look, she's got my 12 grand, man. I want it fair and square. You ain't leaving here, no women. Oh, yeah? That's my money. Come on, man. No, I don't give up. You're taking the money. I want the man. Get your ass kicked. I'm gonna take you right up, right now. Oh. 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 
Did, lady. So this one is no lady. Mm. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Johnson City. Red's waiting outside. What? The three of us? No, actually four. She won't go without Trudy. Trudy. Who's Trudy? Hey, Red. What kind of horse is Trudy? Oh, she's a champion quarter horse from South Texas. <laughs> We've had a lot of barrels together over the years. That's what we do when I'm not playing music. Anything to buy those oats. My God, I think we're going to make it. Six thousand dollars shorts. Get lucky at Paulie's with a little side action. I knew we're going to have yourself a ball. Great, I can't wait. Hey, Red. Red, come on, sing my song for me. Your song? Yeah, you know, uh, blonde-haired villain. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Do you know Blonde Billy? 
Hired gun in a western show. If you haven't met Billy, he's a guy you'd like to know. When he's down, he don't get on. He can keep you dancing all night long. All night. Do you know about Billy? He's a surprise. <laughs> oh, Right, Billy Joe. This is Hustler's Heaven. Hey, that's Jimmy Las Vegas Mattia talking to the notorious Paulie. Nothing but world champion players like Alan Hopkins and Petey Margo. Hey, Red. Red, see the man in the green suit? That's Gentleman Irving Crane, the surgeon. He will get you on the table and cut you wide open. Boy, they are all here. There's Machine Gun Luby Terra sitting with Ray Martin and Mike Siegel. And against the wall, that's Steve Miserec. You know, the guy in the beer commercial. Well, it's Nick Casey over there. What are you doing here, Nick? I thought you didn't play for Tin Cups. Popular demand, sir. Popular demand. <laughs> hey, Billy Joe. Hey, B.A. Long time no see. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that Carolina? Yeah. Carolina vet. Hey. Fellas. Fellas, come hey. in. Oh, Sit around. I'll talk to you, all right? I have to introduce you to Carolina. The only skirt I know plays as good as a man. Carolina, these are my steak horses. The Bavin. How do you do? How do you do? And Robin Hood. Charmed. Robin Hood? Oh, yeah. He robs from the rich, only he oh, keeps he it. Oh, he keeps it. Hang on to as much as you can. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you see him? The bad is short. No, Cal, who are you? Yes, you were down in Miami with that big high tapping. Well, weren't you? What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, these two guys come in carrying cue cases, except there ain't no sticks inside. Shotguns. We clean the joint out of 60,000 in less than two minutes. <laughs> Real pros. Listen, I hope it doesn't happen here. It really makes Paulie mad, wouldn't it? Right, your time. Right there. All right. <laughs> Look, uh, everybody, you please sit down, will you please? Come on, find yourself, find yourself a chair. Jim Red. Be careful. Sonia? All right, everybody, pipe down, huh? I said pipe down! Okay, Polly, what are you going to say, man? Now, first, I want to welcome everybody here to the 8th Annual All-Around World Champion Pool Hustlers Tournament. Yeah. Now, this year, for the first time, the championship finals are going to be televised on national network TV. So, no obscene bullshit. I'm a TV star, huh? Also, that means that everybody here has got to wear a tuxedo. Uh, and I mean everybody. Who's getting married? Hey, we're here to shoot pool. Now, if you don't have a tux, you can rent one from me. Fifteen bucks a day. <laughs> Go for it, Paulie. Now, as you all know, first prize is a munificent $1,500. Plus, this beautiful, genuine, handmade silver and gilt trophy. No prize money is going to be paid till one day after the tournament. So I don't want to hear any sob stories about your dying mothers. You got a heart of gold, Polly. Now, last but not least, the betting windows are going to open tonight. Stay open for the next 72 hours. If you want to play some side bets, the table's in the back room rent, 10 bucks an hour. Ooh. Don't ask for credit. I ain't no finance company. Put that away. Oh, yeah. Uh, one other thing. Uh, because of that heist that went down in Miami, any of you guys are holding heavy cash, I strongly suggest you deposit it in my safe. In my safe? Your safe. Yeah. I'll put it in your safe, boy. I now officially declare the 8th Annual All-Around World Champion Pool Hustlers Tournament officially open.
No, tonight's a preliminary. A hundred on Kitty Margo? Okay. Are you a friend of 14th Street? Lester. Sure, I know. And I also know his widow. Just hang up. Four tickets. God damn it, this is the last time I do you a favor. Hey, Jimmy, can you give me four tickets for my mother? Two hundred on Irving Crane? Hello? Yeah. No. What? Well, yeah. Terry the Hermit, he wants 5,000. Screw him, screw him, his credit stinks. All right, Harry, no cash, 50 cash. Billy, how's it going, huh? Which way's the money going? Pretty close to us. Oh, oh, 9 to 5. 6 to 5. 7 to 5. Yeah, you don't want that. 3 to 2. Okay. All right, Two grand, you got it. You got it. How's it going? They're raking it in. When do we make our move? Well, that safe of Paulie's is bursting at the seams. The big night. That's when we hit. Come on, stop breaking my balls. Do you want the money on Marco, Casey, or Oliver? What? A thousand on Oliver. Put a thousand on. Well, hold on, I got an idiot here. Oliver, a thousand dollars. Hello. Yeah. Make it. One uh, hundred. Three ball, corner pocket. Which corner? This corner. Well, just say so, will you please? Okay, three ball, corner pocket. Thanks. Ah. Ah, nice job. The winner of the semi-final match, Machine Gun Lil' Batera. Tough luck to you. I checked Johnson City. Max hasn't shown. But Nick Casey's arrived. There's a lot of smart money. Outside. Thank you, Rico. I'm sort of hoping that Nick does win. Bum's not your place, boss. Bum? When it comes to shooting pool, Nick Casey's no bum. He's a better player than I am. Better than you? Under ordinary circumstances. When Nick has his rent and groceries dangling out from the end of his stick, he never misses a shot. You're overcutting. However, he does have one weakness. Undercut I was. He can't shoot for the big cash. You put $20,000 down on the table? And he suddenly develops paralysis of the arm. Now, if Nick does win the tournament, I'll beat him again. Beautiful. Mr. Casey is playing for three in the match. Nine ball. Shooting for two. Game ball. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the semi-final match, Mr. Nick Casey, better known as the Baltimore Bullet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please, tomorrow evening, Right at this spot, Mr. Casey will be in the championship finals on national network TV. Now, uh, 
Tickets for sale in the main foyer. Very reasonable. And don't forget, please, one hour from now, Rempy Robbins. Billy Joe Robbins and Jim Rempy. Thank you. Way short, kid. And I can't get us any back from action to save my ass, man. They won't touch us. Hey, Nick. You know, I still gotta play Rempy in the semifinals. I don't know if I can beat him. What happens if I do? More power to you. Beat him. Well, that's just great. You know what that means? That means you and I play the finals. Huh? We do, we do. Maybe it's time. Anyway, it's all academic if we don't fill our book by tomorrow. Can't make the deacon's action anyway. I got it, you guys. It's $5,000. $5,000? Where'd you get $5,000? I got? hawked Trudy this morning. You did what? I hawked Trudy. I love that horse, and I want her back, Nick. Thanks. But the money's yours. Well, you'll get her back. With the interest. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. A little drink? Oh, yeah. To our new partner. To our new partner. Right Thank you very much. It was very interesting. Thank you. All right, Gunnar. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Max slipped into Johnson City this morning. Good, he's not disappointing us. I still don't get it. Guy's looking to kill you. <laughs> don't worry, it's all been arranged. Did Harry mention who's winning the tournament? Casey and Robbins play for the world title tonight. Money guys make it six to five on me, Casey. Yes, sir. How many hours to Johnston City? Oh, eight or nine. Make it eight. You got it. Get a little shaky, huh? All right, I'm gonna level with you. You want the deacon? You want him really bad? I've never seen anything like that before. Well, I'm gonna let you have him. Gonna what? I said I'm gonna let you have him. You're gonna let me win? Yeah. <laughs> Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Bet your sweet ass I can beat you. <laughs> The only way you can win is if I don't show up, kid. Oh, you want to know why I haven't played you all these years? Why? Because I knew you couldn't handle losing to me. That's why. I was worried about you. Will you guys stop it? You're sounding like a couple of kids. You think you can beat me, huh? I don't think you can. But I don't want you giving me anything. If you want to find out, you get your ass out there and play the best pool you can, like you were taught. Okay. Okay, you ask for it, mister. You just remember that I taught you everything you know. But I didn't teach you everything I know. Wise guy. Run off with my money, huh? Come on now, watch it, huh? I'll settle up with you right after this match. Oh, I'm going to get my money back. What are you talking about? Uh, money, your money. 
I just made a little bet on this match. Well, listen, I hope you made the smart bet because I'm favorite. You know? Right, six to five. That's why you're going to lose. Oh, so what the hell you say, man? I'm not... I got 30 grand on a short end. You're dumping. Listen, I don't dump for anybody, man. You don't seem to understand. For you, Max, I'll dump. That's more like it. No funny business, huh? I'll be watching. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Go, go on. Oh. Wow, the turkey. Mm. Billy Joe Robbins, what are your chances of winning tonight's game? Uh, I don't see any way that I can lose, to tell you the truth. Right, thank you. Thank you. Nick Casey, Billy Joe says he can't lose. What do you got to say about that? It lost. Yeah, what's this for, huh? You're fine. What's the matter? I'm not loud enough? Fine. I need this, huh? Sam? One, two, one, two. Sam, one, two, one, two. Thank you. Gentlemen, <laughs> really sorry it worked out this way. Blank, for the all around world you wanted to be on the square. From Ash Fork, Arizona. Well, you're gonna have to play Making for it, kid. Because I'm not Joe dumping. <laughs> also, making his first appearance for the world title from Baltimore, Maryland. Dumping. What about Max? My very good friend, Screw Mr. Max. Nick Casey. shots here tonight, 15 times world pocket billiard champion, a legend in his own time, Mr. Willie Moscone. Willie, nice to have you here. Thank you, Jeff. Glad to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, the closest ball to the cushion wins the lag. Mr. Robbins has won the lag. Since it is a disadvantage to break the balls, Mr. Robbins will have Mr. Casey break. And the first player to sink 150 balls wins the match. A little tighter rack, please. Okay. Yeah. One ball, two rails, side pocket. One ball, two rails. The shot is almost impossible to make. I've never seen it called in tournament pools. corner pocket. Five ball. Five ball, side. He didn't leave himself much. What do you think he's going to do, Willie? Looks like he's looking at a four ball combination into the corner pocket. It'll have to be hit absolutely perfect. 
Seven ball. Seven ball corner pocket. Right. He did it! Thirteen. Two in the corner. Two ball corner pocket. Nick got out of position on that last shot. Looks like he'll have to play a safety. Don't you think so, Willie? I'm sure he will. Safety. He will. Safety. Very well done. Score 51 for Mr. Casey. Mr. Casey's run is 51, and he has left Mr. Roberts with no shot on the table. Three ball, corner pocket. Three ball, corner pocket. Robbins has called a three ball in the corner pocket, but the only chance he has is a mass A shot, the most difficult shot in pool. Great shot, sensational shot. Wonderful. This kid's great. No question the Baltimore bullet is up against a strong opponent. Eleven ball, side pocket. Eleven ball, side pocket. Now it's a question of what he's going to do after he... Seven ball. Seven ball, corner pocket. Woo! Well, it was a extremely consistent game here. Combination. 12 ball, side pocket. 7 ball, left corner pocket. 5 ball, right corner pocket. Holy shit. Kidding? Willie, why don't you diagram this shot for us? He's going to try to make this ball here. This ball here. This ball here. Kind of reckless. Well, Willie, it's reckless, but it's great cool. Four ball. Four ball, side pocket. Eleven ball. Corner pocket. Mr. Robbins' run was 73. That's great. Nine ball. Nine ball. Corner pocket. How does it look? A piece of cake. Okay. That means we hit in 15 minutes. Two in the corner. diagram the shot for us. He's going to shoot the 14 in between the two and the five into the cushion and bank it over into this corner pocket. Play the game. Yeah. Any predictions, yeah. Willie? No one's got the best of it. Go either way. But the bullet's got the stick right now. And I'd have to make the him the favorite. Side pocket. Eleven ball, side pocket. Twelve ball. Nick's good shot. Twelve ball, corner pocket. Combination three and side. Five ball. He's coming over. He's going to go one ball. Thirteen ball to the floor. Thirteen.
something I can do for you, pal? I said, is there something I can do for you, pal? Uh, sir? Sir? Who, who, uh... I freeze! Come on, up again. Let's go! Move! Move! Open it! Oh, no. Oh, yes. I said open it! Please. Yeah. Thank you. On the floor. Yes, sir. On the floor. Over there. Come on, move. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. The tip of the ties. Right through here. Move it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fellas. Nice. That's a tough break. Nick's in trouble. He's going to have to play his safety. Foley. The score now stands at 130 to 130. Mr. Casey's called time. There'll be a five-minute break. Each player is allowed a five-minute break. Which gives us a chance to break for a commercial. Stay with us. This is the Army's newest explosives. Don't make any noise. It's just going to blow the door off. Uh, first, I'm going to get my money back. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take care of that son of a bitch, Nick Casey. Mm -hmm. He double-crossed me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. You know that King Kong walked out of there a little while ago with murder in his eyes? Good. Well, maybe he'll stay out. Huh? What, is your porch light burned out completely or something? Well, what's wrong? What's wrong? Nick, you got to let me have that shot. you got to let me win it. What's well, stopping you? You are. <laughs> you got an edge. You're better than me. No, I'm not. Not anymore, I'm not. You're shooting great pool out there, kid. You're coming up a little fast off your stick. Watch that. You know, you are going to get yourself busted up or possibly even killed. You know that? Nah, nah, don't worry about me, kid. <laughs> don't worry about you, huh? <sighs> don't worry about you for 15 years on that goddamn road. You've been everything to me, Nick. My man, you, you've been my father, my mother. Your my... mother? Okay, my brother. Okay, brother. Don't do it, Nick. Let me have that last shot, huh? You're a great pool player, kid. If you want to save my ass, you're going to have to beat me if you can. Because I'm going to play to win. Right now, I'm going to have a pee. Right. You'd be amazed how noisy this is. I'm going to get my money back in just a second. This is Jeff Temkin, here in Johnston City, Illinois, with Willie Moscone. We're back in the arena now, waiting for Casey and Robbins to resume play. They're scored at 130 each, and it's anyone's guess how this is. Hey, what's going on? Who the hell are you? Hey, what's going on? All right, everybody, FBI, you're all under arrest. Well, have you guys busted for this, you know Get your hands off! What the hell is going on here? Sit down and remain calm. The game is over. Do you hear this? They're raiding the joint. Put it out! Put it out! Am I on the air? Uh, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, 
This is Jeff Temkin reporting live from Johnson City, the scene of a tremendous explosion. There's money. There's money in it. Slips. We left the slips. We left the baddies. Slips. I ran my slips. You got in the slips. I ran my baddies. Hey, Paulie. What are you taking me to, huh? All right, let's go. Come on. You're going to pay for this. Let's go. I got influence. I got connections. It's a bum rack. Yeah. What about the betting slips? Donations. There was donations. I was running a benefit. Yeah. yeah. You've got all these books. Oh, good. good. All right, right this way. Let's go. All right. Let's get them all in here. All right, let's get everybody out of here. Senator asked me to thank you for the tip, Mr. Denton. Uh, and you won't have to worry about Max Lachine for a long time. Now, Mr. Barron, would you see to it that the Senator gets this? Tell him we're all square. He'll understand. Right. Now, Mr. Barron, what about Nick Casey? Oh, well, he's inside. He's uh, <laughs> hiding in the rafters. I'll grab a piece of beer for the road. <laughs> This looks like a very interesting game. Why don't you go ahead and finish? I'll wait. No. No, Nick taught me everything I know, but not everything he knows. So we don't have to finish this game. I concede. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for making it easy for me. I hear you're tougher to beat. You don't choke for the high stakes. <laughs> I've got my 20, Deacon. Where's yours? Rico! Here it is. How much is in there, Deacon? Oh, I'd say about 200,000 or so, Rico. 218,000. 218,000 dollars. Think about that, Mr. Casey. I am, Deacon. You're going to make me a rich man. Money has no home, Mr. Casey. It's all yours. If you can win it. Deacon, I'm going to beat your ass. Casey's run is 33. As I told you, Rico, there are money players and fun players. Mr. Casey may be the best fun player in the world. <clears throat> Seven ball. Seven ball, corner pocket.
Thank you. Whew. Look at him, will you? <laughs> Moving around that table. He's really on tonight. He's just another hustler. He's not even in your league. He's some hustler, all right. Deacon ran 138 points. Putting the score at 138 to 33. There's no way you can win now, Mr. Casey. You know that. Mr. Casey, you need 117 balls. Rico, I think we can make St. Louis for breakfast. Then I wouldn't rush off, Joe. I've still got a shot. <laughs> if my memory serves me correctly, those were the exact words I heard you say the night I sent you home. You're nothing but your chucks chap. Where to, sir? Maine. Maine? That's correct. There's this marvelous lobster house on the coast just south of Brunswick. Perhaps the finest lobster served anywhere in the world. Delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her. Yeah, so will I. Thought she must go home and buy her daddy's pool all back. With her third of the winning, she can buy the whole town back. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna be okay. Yeah, I don't see why you let her have a car. What do we need a car for in the south of France? San Trope. With acres and acres of naked women. And Richard Bardo. Yeah. I hear she goes for younger men. You hear that? Oh, I don't know, some movie magazine or something. I'm not sure. You can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, come on. Lay up, lay up. Why don't you guys put the vegan down? Yeah, we put the vegan down, partner. We put the vegan down. Yeah, you couldn't have done anything without that horse. <laughs> 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 Let's get it. Woo! <laughs> Woo!